My name is Vahid Chitzos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm call- joining in from New York. Uh, I, my name is Gip Patrick, and I'm actually a content strategy. I've been in media and uh, content marketing for about six years. I have a master's in media and communication. But most importantly, I'm also the founder and host of A Conversation with Gip Patrick. So I'm so glad to be here having this conversation with you. Awesome, awesome. So here, listen, I got a question for you. Yes. One of the main key elements that comes in is I get this question all the time from coaches, influencers, and individuals generally speaking being on social media and individuals that are in charge of creating content. If somebody is getting started on social media, how much content do you need to put out there daily basis that you would consider decent? What is the norm? How much should they put? Because I know there's a lot of noise in the marketplace. What is your recommendation to those brand new people coming in? I'm glad you asked that question because I actually had that fear when I wanted to start creating content. And the best answer to that is as much as you have is as good as you need. Because we always want to compare ourselves with people who are well established. Um, because I think we have this norm and the society have this norm of comparing people with like our spot, people with spotlights with kind of like our back end also. So you have to tell yourself, okay, the fact that someone else is posting, posting five content a day doesn't necessarily mean I need to post five content a day. What's the content I have right now? And most times another fear we also have is maybe the content I have is not good enough, but you would never know if it's good enough or not until you put it out there. So my recommendation is if you have anything you, you have, you've created or you want to create, go ahead and create it and put it out there because it's never too much and it's never too little. And you never know what your audience is going to like, love and appreciate. So um, the recommendation is always go ahead and put it out there, whatever you have. Just keep going. Never stop. So how did you get over that fear? Because, you know, I tell people to do it, but they don't do it because the fear is still there. So how did you get rid of that fear? So like I just said, the first thing I did was going ahead and doing it. So that's the biggest hot thing you have to kind of break. Once you break that barrier of doing it and you see how people respond to it, sometimes people might not respond to it for like months of your creation. Like you can keep creating content for like a year, two years, and you, know, you won't get the kind of response you're looking for. But one day, someone is going to respond to it. And if your goal is not always getting attention, but making impact, so you have to always focus on impact over results. So if you feel like it's one person is impacted by my content, that's all I really want, then you always have that courage to keep going. So when I started, it was just one random video in my living room that I put out there and people started messaging me like, you know, I really love that video that you sent out. I really was just waiting for that word. It's like you were talking to me. I'm like, wait, people do love this. People really want to hear what I have to say. And I have so much to say. So I just kept going and I never stopped. And the more I do it, the better I get because I get feedback from people. Again, you have to open room for people to share their feedback and opinion. And then you, you keep learning. You learn as you go, you know. But if you never go ahead and create, then you never know what to improve or what to do better. So when it comes to the creation, a lot of people get stuck on what to create. What is your recommendation? So let's say I got over my fear. I'm going to do, I'm going to let my content go, my knowledge. I'm going to put it out in the universe. And obviously I shouldn't expect much back from it right away. It takes time to build up momentum and put it out there. People need to know, people need to talk about it. So I'm going to be patient with it. No problem. My question is this, what do I create? So that's a great question because at the end of the day, you want to back whatever you're creating with purpose, right? For me, it was all about conversation because conversation really means a lot to me and conversation for me is how I feel we can actually create change. So I've always loved having conversation with people for God knows when, you know? So it was just about putting it out there for more people to be involved in this thing that I really love doing. So it wasn't... It, an extra job for me it's not an extra thing it's just something i love doing that i do enjoy doing so finding that thing that you do love doing 
is key to creation because that way doing it and creating it will not always be a burden to you it will just be something that you enjoy it's just like going to the park if you like going for a walk or traveling if traveling is your thing so find that thing that you really love because that's what people is going to connect to nobody's going to connect to something that is not impactful to you that is not purposeful and that is not um, meaningful to you so once you have that thing that you love and you start creating around it, people will see that and they will connect to that and they will follow you for that. So it's all about finding the purpose. And again, the other thing that I also think is important when you think of creating content or creating anything is what's the impact you want to make in other people? It, it, has, to, it has to be more than just you showing up on social media and being cool on social media or any other platform you want to put out your content in. It has to be more than that and be more of, how am I going to use this thing to impact someone else's life? There has to be a purpose and impact behind it. I agree with that 100%. So here's a follow-up question to that. Yes. What type of content... I mean, okay, so let's say I have a personal account and I have a business account. Yes. And let's say I'm an entrepreneur. How much should I intercommingle the two? Because I feel like a lot of people, they use their business page as personal also too. In your recommendation with the vast amount of experience that you have, how should they separate that? Because just think about it, a real estate agent. Yes. How do you separate your real estate business from your personal? Or should you even do that? Should you combine both? I mean, it depends on you if you want to have a private life and versus like a public life. But at the end of the day, people want to also know who they are buying from. This this brand and buying and content is not all about like the product anymore. It's about the product and the personality. Who is this person? What's their belief? Uh, do I care about this person? Or does this person care about me? Does this person relate to my story? Uh, why is this person or this brand worth my investment and my money, you know? So all of those stories is what you want to think about when you create content for your business and for your personal page. So if for you to achieve that, you need to merge your personal and your business together, that's fine. But at the same time, if you want to separate it, make sure it has a common narrative. I don't want to come to your business page, even though I'm getting the business idea from there but i'm not getting a sense of who you are or i'm getting a different sense of personality of who this person is and then when i go to your personal page you are entirely different person so for me personally my brand is about my personality conversations that i care about and that i believe people can actually get impacted by so it, it has to go hand in hand so it really depends on the kind of brand you're building for yourself does it require you separating your, your personal life away from your business life then do that but also make sure that there's a common narrative that you're not two different people because that becomes like kind of sketchy right um uh, be true to yourself uh wherever you are let people be able to identify you. Let that brand narrative be common. Let be a, the commonality across the brand narrative. But if you do choose to combine it as business and personal page, make sure that whatever you are saying as a person has to complement your brand. You know, and whatever you are saying as a brand complements your personality. So just have making sure that that brand narrative is consistent across uh, both page is the key. So it doesn't really matter if you are pretty. Yeah. Got it. So here's my other question. Yes. My other question is, I see your page. You, you, you're, you're putting a lot of good content out there. What, how do you get your self-development? What do you do for that? What's your source? Yes. So I always tell people self-care is the best care because you can't give what you don't have, right? You always have to make sure that you are refreshed, you are empowered. You, and also, again, that goes back to why conversation to me is very important. Because when you have conversation with people that are better than you, that have achieved more than you, you meet people and you, you talk with them, you go beyond your perspective. You are a one level higher. So that's how I viewed myself. Um, I love reading, but I enjoy listening more than I, I actually love reading, you know? So how do I get my knowledge? I listen to people, to really smart people. People like you, a lot of guests you've had. Um, I listen to a lot of uh, motivational speakers, inspirational speakers, people that have been, that are way ahead of me where I am trying to go. I make sure I follow them. I listen to their, their preaching, what they do. I follow like their strategy. I just try to refresh myself. And when I feel burnt out, I don't pretend. I seek help. Whenever I feel burnt out, whenever I feel exhausted, I always seek help. I don't over 
stretch myself and I don't lie to myself. So that's how I, I make sure I keep renewed enough to actually be able to serve my audience and my listeners. Love it, love it. Now, what's your recommendation for brand new entrepreneurs that are starting their business? Because right now times are changing and yeah. I feel like a lot of people need to get involved in the whole entire online businesses in any shape or form that they choose because they want to supplement or potentially replace the career that they were in. What is your recommendation for brand new people coming into the entrepreneurship? So my recommendation is there is no one size fit it all. Like before, normally you want to have it all figured out. You want to have it a straight path to where you are going. And like I would say, I'm, I have a startup mentality every day. I still feel like today is the first day I put my first content out there. Um, because that way you, you are always learning and growing. So my recommendation for someone that's trying to go into content creation or con uh, entrepreneurship business online or whatever platform is, don't wait to have it all figured out. Start it and learn from the process. And also go in with the idea that you might fail. In fact, go in with the idea that you're going to fail. So when you fail, you don't give up. When you fail, you'll be like, okay, I knew I was going to fail. Why did I fail? And how can I learn from this? And how can I keep going forward? And the other thing I also say is, don't let the gain that you're trying to, because I would say the return is not going to come immediately. So if you focus on the return and the result that you're trying to get, you're always going to get discouraged because it takes years. And the people we see these days that are like showing up their entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurship skills and the gain they've made from it. If you look back at their story, they started 30, 15, 16 years ago. And that's why they are making so much money from it right now. So you have to be patient through that process and learn from the process. And then tomorrow you're going to look back and be like, I was glad I went through that journey. But the first recommendation is start, don't wait, and learn from the process as you go. I love it. I love it. How do people find you? Oh, uh, you can find me on my Instagram page, gift underscore Patrick underscore, but I really recommend you subscribe to my YouTube page, gift Patrick. You can also find that link on my Instagram page. So go, you will have videos from experts, and I also will put up videos soon uh, from a very important personality in content marketing. He actually is the first content, uh, like content creator company in the U.S. He was one of the founders. He's giving idea of how to do like a startup business. So you will find videos like that coming up on my page from diverse uh, people and uh, talent. So I would really recommend you subscribe to my YouTube page at Give Patrick. What's your first self hook? Sorry. What did you I say? I didn't lose you. I, what's your favorite self-help book? Self-help book? Oh, um, I love um, Michelle Obama's Becoming. Because it kind of takes you out through the journey. Um, but a lot of the, the self-help uh, things I listen to is written, is actually done by Oprah. I love Oprah a lot. So, but a lot of people, you just need to find what you love, you know, find what's good for you and what works for you. Yeah, one of the reasons I like Oprah is we have the same birthday, but the rest of the stuff, um, it's good <laughs> content. That's it. So that's all I got with Oprah. <laughs> that works too. That yeah. works too. <laughs> that was, thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy schedule, being with us this morning. Uh, definitely stay safe out there. Hopefully, we'll talk soon. Thank you for having me. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You got it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.